Okay, in this video we are going to be putting a crew logo onto the back of a topless. I know some of you guys have been asking me how to do this for like ages and I just had to work it out and I did and now here we are. Okay, so for step one, our C1 outfit is the outfit that we have our accessory on. I'm using the neck and waist IAA badge, but you can use the neck only badge, you can use um, the stethoscope, the handcuffs, the paramedic badge, whatever. We just have to save it in our C1 position. For our C2 outfit, we are going to head into the tops and we are going to set our top to no top. We're going to go into utility vests and we are going to apply the red camo plate carrier. This is going to be our Beth merge, you know, belt component, mergey belty thing. Now you see me here remove the gloves from C2 only. I should have removed them from C1, but I forgot to, and I think that is partially why I had so much trouble with this outfit. But I mean, you're going to see that oh, in the course of this video. I'm sorry. So I we're going to save this outfit here in our C2 position. Now for our merge spot, I'm saving the gun belt in my merge spot because I, you know, obviously I wanted the gun belt on this outfit. But I mean, you can use any belt you like. I'm just going to grab the belt that we want, and we're going to save it in our merge spot. Now, once we've got those three outfits saved, we're going to make sure that our parachute is set to classic. We are going to apply our C1 outfit and we are going to set the parachute to on. We're going to wait for our save circle to finish and then we are going to cut the net to our console one. I use um, Arkai Router for all my BFs. It is you know, an amazing piece of technology. So shout out to the guys at Arkai.com. Right, this here is my console 2, we're just going to apply our C2 outfit, we don't need any parachutes for C2, we only have to apply the C2 outfit, I don't know where that parachute thing came from, but going to wait for the safe circle to finish and drop out to story, and then back on console 1 here, we're just going to reapply our C1 outfit, and that will remove the parachute for us, and then we'll wait for the safe circle to finish, and we'll drop out to story, and then we'll reconnect to our internet. Now, once you load back into a session, you'll see this broken invisible outfit thing and then my top will glitch back on. Now, I'm not sure if my top glitches back on because I accidentally left the gloves on my C1 outfit, but I went ahead and entered It's a G thing anyway. Now, I use It's a G thing for all my merging, but you can use any Lamar mission, I think. Um, low and slow is one. I think there's another one called point and shoot, but I'm, you know, I'm loyal to the It's a G thing. So we're going to ent enter it's a G thing uh, once we're in the, you know, the startup screen thing. We're going to just go over to our merge outfit and then back to our current outfit. You know, I've got my merge outfit saved in slot one, so I go right once and then back to current. If you're, it's in slot 20, then you'll go left once and then back to current. But that has merged our belt onto our broken invisible thing with our badge. We're just going to go into our office or our apartment and we're going to save this. Well, I save it over my merge spot because I'm not doing any more merging for this outfit. So I'm just going to save this in a random spot. Once it's saved, we're just going to quit the job through our phone and it will dump us back into a session. Okay, now back in a session here, I, I did it. I selected the saved outfit, but the no top, it still glitched back into a t-shirt. Now, I'm, again, I'm not sure if this is because of the gloves, but if this does happen to you, I'll show you how to fix it. So, what we are going to do is we are going to select the outfit quickly through the interaction menu, and then we are going to go into accessories, we will go to gloves, and then we will quickly apply any armor gloves. That's going to bring our no top back in, and then we will head into the clothing store, and then we will just set the gloves to no gloves. Now I just, I'm just going to park this in any spot because we're going to be using this outfit again later. But I mean if you're going to be doing some more merging you might want to find a new spot because we're going to need this again. Right, for our step two we are going to, for our C1 outfit, go into biker jackets. We are going to select the worn black classic biker. That's just one up from the, from the top. And then we're just going to go into crew emblem and we are going to set the crew emblem to on. This is the biggest crew emblem I could find, so I mean this is the one we're going to use. So this is our C1 outfit, we've got the biker jacket with our crew logo on the back, we are going to save that as C1. For our C2 outfit, we are going to go into shirts and we are going to select the black short sleeve. 
Now we are going to open up our interaction menu and we are going to set the shirt to open. This is a very important step, otherwise you are going to get a random top. So make sure that that shirt is set to open and we are going to save that as C2. So for our C1 we've got our biker jacket here, for our C2 we have got the black short sleeve. We are going to go into standard outfits and we are going to apply any standard outfit, I use the sunbather. Now for this Biff we don't want any parachutes involved, we only want to trigger a save. So we are going to open the parachute, we are going to apply it and then we are going to remove it. We are just going to wait for the save circle to finish and then we will cut the net to console 1. Now on our C2 here we are going to apply the black short sleeved shirt, that's the C2 outfit here. And then again the save circle will do its thing, it will do its story thing and all the thing. And then back on our C1 we are going to apply the biker jacket with the crew logo. That save will finish and then we can drop into story and we can reconnect our net again. Now when you load back into a session here you'll see that we have the crew logo on the back of this invisible torso. We are going to head into the clothing store and we will save this in our C2 spot. This here is our C2 outfit. Now the fact that it has the badge on it is just because that's just how it was, but ignore that, that, that doesn't need to be there, that's on our C1. So we're going to save this broken invisible torso thingy as our C2. Our C1 is going to be the, you know, the setup outfit that we made earlier. You see me here move it back into C1, although you can just biff from where it's saved. So we have our, yeah, so we've got our setup outfit and then we've got the broken torso with the crew logo as our C2. Now I'm using classic bag for this Beth because I've got the gun belt on but I probably it's probably safer to use Israel depending on what belt you used. But we will apply the C1 outfit and then the appropriate parachute. The safe circle will finish and then we'll cut our net again. On our C2 console here we will just apply the broken topless C crew logo thing and then that safe circle will finish and then we'll drop out to story again. And then back on our C1 we're just going to reapply our C1 outfit which will remove the parachute for us, save circle thing, drop back to story and then reconnect our internet. Alright, now when you load back into a session here you'll see that we have our topless with our belt and our IAA badge, the crew logo there is on the back. Now I didn't do too much with this outfit because, well I mean I just didn't. Because Mainly because I wanted you guys to have creative freedom, you know, you guys are free to do whatever you like with this outfit. We're just going to save this anywhere, I've just saved it as finished. But thank you very much to EM Glitch for allowing me to use his crew. To, you know make this outfit I don't I don't know if he actually knows that but he's a legend he's a legend I tell you but thank you for watching